Salud. I spent a long time in Philadelphia. I went to Villanova mm-hmm. for school. I lived there for a long time, exploring all the various neighborhoods and exploring all the urban gardens. And that's when I got my first bicycle as an adult. I feel like getting a bicycle as an adult is very different than getting one as a child. And everything in in me just said, you're going to start this compost business oh, and it's going to happen. And there was no doubt in my mind mm-hmm. that composting was going to be normal in Athens. It was going to exist. It was going to be awesome. <laughs> I was going to use the service. Everyone else was going to use the service. And mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just one of those one of those decisions that just seemed really powerful. We're asking people to do something that they don't want to do. Then we're asking them to pay to do something they don't really want to mm-hmm. do. So yeah. then there's people that are super enthusiastic. That's kind but of we live, in my category. But we live in Athens and mm-hmm. like people live here. I live here because I love yeah. it. Yeah, it's just not a it's not a town with, where people have a lot of disposable income, and, which is mm-hmm. completely understandable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So a lot of it is just has just been really grassroots and going to events and, mm-hmm. you know, other other people get really enthusiastic. They tell their neighbors, they tell their friends, mm-hmm. those friends like have us at this event and that event. This year, businesses have really wanted to support mm-hmm. it. On Black Friday, Patagonia sold so much stuff that they announced to all of the grant recipients that they were going to give them like, double the money. It was the most wonderful thing ever. I really wanted to know, like, these eco products, can they really break down or is this just made up? And they really do break down. Uh-huh. Like, we would see them melt in the pile. It was really oh, okay. cool. So we sell wood chips and mulch and compost. <laughs> Oh, so the bikes, we wanted to be able, with the bikes, we needed to be able to compost at a place the bikes could get to. Uh-huh. So, and they couldn't get to the commercial composting facility. So we needed to have a place locally. So that's why we started working with West Broad Farm, which is just, is just an yeah. urban farm in yeah, Athens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We decided we're going to stop doing the bikes and we're going to bring them back at a later date. Uh-huh. You know, with electric assist and they'll be bigger and more visible and... Something that I wanted to give to people was just that that choice, really. Mm-hmm. So not to say, like, hey, everybody should be doing this. This is the right way. But mm-hmm. this is a great option. Mm-hmm. I really like it. And maybe other people would like it, too. And it's just been so fun working with them. And I feel like suddenly we have um, all of these resources in the way of, like, carbon material and trucking. And then resources in the way of just incredible, talented people and creativity. And we're finally set up to really... Um, to really grow and hopefully create a ton of jobs because Athens desperately needs really good jobs. It's such a fun place to live. Well, there's a good, so there's a good, good Samaritan act that was written by Bill Emerson. Uh Um, And because of that act, you can give away, stores can give away food this past expiration date and not get in trouble. So they can give it to food banks. They can give it to individuals. Yes, they can go to Uh lettuscompost.com. Or they can call 404-805-0113. We love getting phone calls about composting questions or anything. I think the Athens community has really created Let Us Compost in a lot of ways. And we we planted the seed, but it's just been kind of taken by so many different people in different directions. And I, I really hope that that continues.